This is Banyan Golf Course in a beach town called Hua Hin. It's one of the top courses in the country and from the clubhouse, you can see why. Beautiful. After a quick brekkie in the Mulligan's pub overlooking the ninth green, I tackle the course for the first time ever. We'll discover this layout together. I almost never play the tips on the first round at a new course, if I can help it. I played the blues today, and that's plenty challenge enough, and don't want to make bad hoodoo by playing the tips first time out. Let's learn this interesting course together. The palm tree is the aiming point to be safe, but I check my Garmin watch to see the distance to the water edge on the right. To reach that is 250 yards. Without a warm-up, I figured I would stay short of it. I just couldn't commit to the palm tree because the landing area is blind. So I hit 8 iron there from 160 and I went a little left of the pin. I actually didn't fade it toward the pin because there's a big bunker in front of there. I don't know the distances, I don't know the lay of the green. So I'm just going left away from that bunker. I don't want to go in a bunk on the first hole and plug. So I'm on the green, way left. Now we have to rely on a two putt. What a caddy. Okay, so on this hole, Didi told me to go a little, you know, a little right of the pin will be better because anything left will funnel into the bunker. But see this, I didn't really think it through. There's a lot of space behind the pin here. You can see there's tons of space. I mean, the nine iron is pin high, but I could have even, okay, there is a big slope past the pin. I didn't know that. But up where Peter is there, the white fox, that would be good. So I could go dead at the pin, even if I end up down there. At least it's a putt. I'm left with a tough up and down onto the green sloping away from me. If we can minimize these tough shots, we can save more pars. On is on. Too much. <clears throat> Into the one and a half club wind, I'm not going to reach that bunker. It's only the third hole of the day and I'm not warmed up. It's also freezing cold at 26 degrees Celsius. Driver at the bunker on the right. Easy life. Okay, we've got space on the right. Coconut trees up there, the, the aiming point. We're going to hit the three wood, 245 yards to the pin. Good strike, probably a little bit short. Chip and a putt, birdie time. But we avoid the left side here. I didn't want to say it before my shot because then it brings in the thought of the left side. Left side is water. So I wanted to hit a fade in there on those trees. If I miss it right, if I miss it short, I'm okay. Chipping apart for a pump. The grass texture, ground condition, and green speed is different to Black Mountain. It's not better or worse. It's just very different. We played Black Mountain the day before, so I may take some time to get used to these conditions, if I'm even able to. Yesterday. Good pass. 
I made a mess of this par 3 as well, but check out the crazy statistic at the end of the video, keeping in mind my poor par 3 performance. Now that's where headworms comes in. I was so worried about teething it and fatting it that you could see I teethed it a little bit, but you could see the jerky yip in that. So we've got to get confident and just hit through the ball. Got to get my confidence back with the chipping. Oh dear. See players, I took the 52 here. I knew it would rip back. I mean look at this, this this pitched up here. Okay, that pitched up there. And then it spun all the way back down there. I wasn't really factoring in the draw the pool, but if I had picked pitched that up here. It would have spun nicely back to the hole because I could see the slope from where I was and I don't want to be short with a 56 and leave it pitching here and guaranteed spinning even more because the down slope, the edge of the green is about a foot below the hole. So 52 definitely the right play. From the comments, I can tell the difference between newer golfers and high handicappers versus lower handicap golfers is the consciousness of the wind, the slopes, elevation changes, and especially the effect of the lie of the ball on the shot. Notice how long this two iron goes. It's not a boast, it's not fake. It's the fact the shot is slightly downhill with the firm breeze. Okay, good. Minimum buggy. Now watch this shot. It's a driver but into the wind which is reducing my iron shots by about one club in distance. Okay, we've got 152, it's into the breeze, but we've got a great flyer lie here. So I'm not gonna take an extra club and a half, I'm gonna take one club extra. Instead of the nine, I'm gonna hit the eight up on the right side, because the pin's all the way on the left, lots of space on the right. Short. Short siding, not a good idea. Gonna have to definitely think about this restaurant. No more short siding, man. Damn it, this is hard to chip from here. Yes, listen to the caddy. Now I can hold a putt. Good putt. These few holes run next to each other in opposite directions. This par 5 is down breeze, but the water is easily in play if I hit driver. I accept it's a three shot par five on the tee and hit my two iron. It's not a good shot, but it's in play and it's not in a bunker. But not, I don't want to go over that bunker. Which side, left or right? Left. Left better? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see how much to the bunker. I can, I can check, yeah? Okay, it's 167 to the middle bunker. Okay, mate, yeah? And then 200 to the one on the left. I want to leave it short of that to approach it with a decent length club so I can fly that pot bunker in front of the green. Okay, now we approach the green and I have to take enough club up the hill to carry that pot bunker in front. I think my angle is better as well. I'm not going directly over the pot bunker. My caddy may said go left because then you don't go over the bunker if i go right i'm going to be approaching over that bunker get in that deep bunker there from this angle i can see it's disaster okay so we've avoided this bunker now we have a clear approach shot the pot bunker is on the right but we must hit enough club to carry that bunker 
guaranteed whatever, the club must, even with a mediocre strike, carry the bunker in the front edge of the green. I have to trust the caddy first, then I can play golf. Where is it? Okay, they tell me this is one of the best holes in Asia, apparently. 406 yards from here down and then straight uphill. Players, this slope is adding on a 147 yard shot it adds 15 yards it's playing 162 with the slope on the range finder unbelievable oh i'm dead one of the better holes i've played so far actually very good okay where are we going at the bunker See, my ball is sitting in the rough a little bit there, so I have to assess the lie first before I want to go for it. It's about 235 to the center of the green, so it's a three wood easily. But we have to see that lie. If that lie is not good, we might have to lay up. So I check the lie first, and then I select the club, and then maybe we go. On the right, it's very easy, not much danger. I'm not going to talk about the danger now. I'll talk about the danger after the shot, because I don't want to put it in my head. Okay, the lie, if you were playing a video game, that lie would probably say about we'd say about 50 to 60 percent so it's not too bad it's only 219 to carry the bunker and 234 no 254 to the pin I think it's a pretty safe shot the wind is kind of like kind of stopped here by the mountains the flag is dead still so I think a three wood solid shot should be fine it's going to easily carry the water to carry the water is 188 yards so I think we've got a good shot here See, that's the danger with that lie, right? Is that I, st I started to want to dig down onto it because it's so deep in the rough. So you'll probably see, I probably, probably try to lift it in the air. That's why I hit it high in the face. So it, it skied a bit, but I knew even with a sky at 189 yards, I'm going to carry that water. So we're over the water, but maybe have to pitch it on, try and make the bird. But I think high percentage play there was the three wood. I mean, really high percentage, 100% would be to lay up short of the water, probably with a nine iron or, or a wedge. And then put another wedge on okay from that i'm not going to get in too much danger from there if the ball was sitting really down or in a bad lie i'd have to definitely just punch one down there but that was high percentage play i think okay let's be perfectly honest that was extremely lucky i skied it and it stayed short of the water actually i deserve to have gone in the water but it looks like she's walking through the water anyway so whatever may the best caddy i've had in thailand easily the best caddy i've had in thailand and uh, pitch shot on here, easy life. On the green, no problem. 
See now you can see the low confidence right there. That's a 50 yard, 45 yard shot. But you can see the yip at the bottom there. I could feel the yip. I'm thinking, do I open the face or do I just hit a normal shot? I've got to fly it high or just fly it normal. And then on the backswing, I'm deciding just get it on the green. Now I should have thought just get it on the green in the beginning, but you have to commit. If you keep, if you do like what I'm doing, that's where the yip comes. It's all about the commitment. I need to really commit a bit better. And I'm going to walk through this jungle. The caddy did. Let's see. Okay, it's 265 to the front of the, the green here. We down breeze, we're on a right to left slope, so it's gonna hook. I'm gonna put it up on the right there. If it stays straight, I'll just pitch, you know, 90 degrees to the hole. But if it draws in there, I could be on the green. So I think it's a good play. Oh, okay, I didn't want to talk about it before the shot, but that was totally mismanaged. I thought the hole went up that way. I didn't ask May which way. She knows. She told me to hit the driver. I hit the three wood because I thought it's up there, but she knew. So I need to trust her a bit more. She knows everything. So I had to cut that one over and around this tree with a pitching wedge. Now in the future, I will hit driver like May told me, and I'll go hit it further up on the left side to open up the green. In the hole! I couldn't commit to a club on this tee shot and was between a pitching wedge and a 9 iron. A lot of people wonder how Tiger Woods could have made a 10 on the 12th of Augusta. This is why. There was a swirling wind and he committed to the wrong wind. He committed to a right to left wind. The wind always confuses players on that hole at Augusta and it's the secret weapon of the hole. On this par 3 for me, which is far easier than Golden Bell, I couldn't commit to whether the wind was into me or with me. And then a disgusting shot happens. Luckily, there is no water for me and the greens aren't rolling at 13 on the stimp meter. I was thinking to fly it and let it spin back, but then if I go too long, I'm in that bunk in the back and then I'm dead because it hit onto a downslope. So I went with her suggestion of staying short, but we downwind, down, downhill. So I hit the 58 degree and it landed short on that slope. And we're walking up to see where it is now. I thought it'd be closer than that. 
but okay not too bad it got over the slope and we have a relatively flat or uphill putt for the birdie Let's see if we can finally make one but you can see if you hit that slope with too low of a of a shot you're going to roll into that bunker so luckily i used the 58 it looks like it spun back a bit but where that caddy is there i could have also hit it up there with like a 56 and spun it back but i don't want to go long here ever Check this hole out players, this is just short of the green, walking up. Look at all these slopes, I'm probably about 5-6 yards below the green here. And my ball on the left there with that shuri shot, that's going to be tough. But at least I've got a lot of green to work with. But damn, this is a tough approach, looks like there's a backstop there. But this is kind of knowledge I'll need for next time I want to play here. But this is tough, 200, well, 187 playing 200 up the hill to a raised green into the into the wind damn bro oh boy <laughs> Overall, I was incredibly happy with this round. It's a new course and my second round with the Shrixen Z Forge Clubs with KBS Tour S Plus shafts that Eric recommended for me. Here's the sick part. I hit 12 greens with one shot finishing on the fringe to make it sort of 13. I did that while missing all the par 3 greens in regulation. Of course, that is an area to improve, but I love my Shrixen Z Forge crispiness and the shafts are more my style than the Project X 6.5, which were suggested to me by a fitter that is not Eric. If you look down at the clubs and they don't fill you with joy, love, trust and commitment, they're just not going to perform. Second time round at this course, now that I know the par 3 green complexes, I will surely hit 3 or 4. Something else people may be confused with is how tricky it is playing new courses all the time. To go out and play like this, despite having a poor short game for the day, it's expected that breaking 80 may not be the result. That's why I'm so happy with it. It was solid, except the short game. Grass type, grass length, grass texture, ground conditions under the grass, a new layout, never before seen green complexes with new slopes, new bunker sand, so many things come into play. Playing one course over and over is the surest way to lower your handicap and learn that course. To experience new courses and look back and see where you can improve next time is what makes this game more fun for me. Gone are the days of playing the same course non-stop and when a course is as good as Banyan, you cannot wait to get back. 